Kelvin? Uh, I thought he was very good. <laughs> um, I mean, he, he gave us such a lift in the first half. We, we were outscoring by, I want to say, 14 to 2 on the offensive, uh, uh, on second chance points in the first half. It was, I believe, 30 to 14 points in the paint. Um, so it was, uh, uh, you know, and that was mostly due to Calvin. He was, he was scoring, he was posting in there hard. Uh, they were switching some, which got, uh, got us a mismatch in there. Uh, and then he was just attacking the offensive glass. He was all over the place. So, yeah, I was really happy to see him. I mean, anytime you go 10 for 11, 23 points, 11 rebounds in 23 minutes. I mean, that's just, those are huge numbers. And, uh, you know, he was, uh, he was, yeah, that boo gave us good minutes off the bench as well. He came in and uh, we put him on 24 and just, and just told him to stay with him. And uh, he did a good job with him. He, you know, they're so fast. Uh, they do such a great job of finding guys in transition. You know, their four-man runs the wing. A lot of times the four-man will bring it in transition. So they play, they play a very unique style. Uh, so we went out there and, you know, I thought those two guys uh, gave us great uh, energy off the bench when we needed it most. Fred, what is breaking it? out like this? Is it something you could have saw you saw in practice? Is it something you saw coming from him? Or? He's put, you know, if he's playing uh, big minutes, you know, he's, he's put up some, some pretty big numbers in, in uh, you know, playing 20, 25 minutes. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's in. And some, some games he gets a little frustrated. You know, the Texas game, I thought he got a little frustrated out there. And, uh, you know, a freshman are going to have those uh, types of, of lapses, but you know, it, when he comes in and, and comes off the bench and gives us that spark, uh, you know, which we come to uh, expect a lot of Calvin, you know, you know he's going to go out and, and provide this, uh, you know, big lift for our team. Uh, you know, it, it, the big thing Calvin did when he was suspended just kept himself in shape. You know, like I said, I've talked about it before. We came back from Kansas. Uh, him and Chris Allen were in the gym at 10:30, uh, in there in a full ladder, getting a, a, a great workout. And then he comes out the next game, and you know, we really need him. That's when Jamie went down. Jamie got hurt. Uh, you know, and that's why I think when he got his confidence up, when he got in the starting lineup, and you know, now he's back in his role, coming off the bench and providing energy for our team, and, and uh, he's done a wonderful job with that. Fred, what does it say about this team that, given how tough it was in January and February, a lot of teams would just pack it in, but you got two straight and you're kind of on a roll heading to case state What does it say about this team? It says a lot about this team. You know, the big thing that I continue to stress to them is if we go out and continue to play with the energy that we've been playing with, that the wins will come. You know, sometimes it's tough when you when you lose close game after close game to keep your confidence up and to continue to go out and play with passion and energy. Uh, but our guys have done that. You know, they come to practice, they come to work every day, and they've had positive attitudes, and, and that's been the biggest thing. You know, this is a group I saw from day one. Uh, it was a team that was going to go out and play hard and, and, uh, and give ourselves a chance just because of the character that they have uh, and, and how much they believe in each other. We went out and played uh, played team basketball. Uh, again tonight, you know, like Deontay said, uh, you know, he was. It didn't matter who made plays. You know, it was just it was all about the team tonight. We shoot seventy percent in the second half, uh, seven for ten from the three point line, and anytime you do that, that's really unselfish. We shot over fifty against Nebraska, and uh, and broke down the defense. And get, you know, that also shows confidence that the guys are out there playing free and, and, and having fun. Um, you know, I just continue to look back what could have been. You know, had we won a few of those close games earlier. You know, but uh, it is what it is, and, and right now, you know, our job is to go out there and try to uh, close out the season with some momentum going to the Big 12 tournament. Fred, you're shooting 70% in the second half, win by all rights, you guys should be tired. What's up with that? You, you, you know, momentum, Randy, I think confidence, you know, kind of makes you forget about those things. <clears throat> when you have some bad things happen to you, that's when that fatigue, I think, sets in a little bit more. Uh, but when you have that confidence, you have that swagger, you know, you forget about it. You just go out there and you play. And, you know, there was uh, there were some breaks in the action. You know, tried to use timeouts a little bit more tonight as far as getting our guys a little bit of rest and just using them more uh, to get our guys a blow. And uh, Colorado called a few as well. So, you know, I could see it out there. I tried to get Jamie a little bit of a rest. You know, he's still trying to get his wind back after after the injury. Um, you know, and then Calvin and Melton just kind of keep them in rotation. And then Boo goes out and gives our guys a spell, uh, which is very important. You were concerned earlier in the week. You mentioned you're concerned about Colorado scoring in spurts. You were able to... Alleviate that. that. Yeah. Well, well, really. well, well <laughs> but nothing that, that that damaged you a whole lot. I mean, well, so I mean, it was it was back and forth. You know, yeah. they'd score, we'd come back and score. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you know, they shot. Uh, uh, you know, they, they shot forty three in the second half. You know, the same thing kind of happened against Nebraska, where they were getting second chance opportunities. You know, we, we just we, we weren't finding ways to get the rebound. Uh, you know, you get rebounds, and you know, it's a double digit lead with under two minutes to go, and you know, it's pretty tough to come back from. You know. To give them those second chance opportunities, even late in the game, you know, when they're calling timeouts, you know, we had a, a big key turnover against Oklahoma State uh, after an offensive rebound basket. And, you know, those are the types of plays that uh, that hurt you and do you in. But we did a really good job with our press offense, getting the ball in the guys' hands, 
uh, that, uh, that we wanted it in, and they stepped up and made free throws from the hand. You mentioned you had not a great game your senior night. How nice is it for these three guys to go out, all, not only on a win, but all having a pretty good game? And they, and they all made big plays. You know, Deontay struggled mm -hmm. some in the first half, but you know, really came out and gave us a lift in the second half. And did a great job distributing the basketball and, and uh, uh, hit some shots. Uh, you know, Jamie was in there again, did another double double. That's two double doubles in a row for Jamie. And then Jake, uh, you know, that three hit in the left corner, very similar to the one he hit against Creighton, which, uh, you know, which gave us a nice lead down the stretch. So, you know, all those guys made big plays. I'm very happy for all of them to go out, uh, you know, did better than I did. Last question for Coach. 